I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Green McCann's TV. <laughs> If you like old movies, then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the like button to preserve our movie heritage for future generations. Hello, YouTubians and internet adventurers. The Roaring Twenties conjures up images of street gun crime perpetuated by greedy gangsters and fashionable young women drinking to excess whilst dancing to the latest iTunes and the hangover of a stock market crash. That sounds rather too familiar. In our age where reality is being replaced by ones and zeros that can be turned off at a flick of a switch, it's nice to go back to basics for a change and actually hold something from the 1920s in your hand. Here we have an original tray card set of 1926 film and stage favourites, issued by the British American Tobacco Company. Not long before the 1920s, women could have been arrested for simply raising their hemlines. Naughty, naughty. Centuries of poor education and low self-esteem provided the local lord with an abundant supply of slave labour from the working classes as shown in the globally popular period drama Downton Abbey. Here we have some original 1920s trade cards of a maid obediently and contently cleaning her master's silver. In the apocalyptic aftermath of World War I, the cinema provided a welcome retreat from the doom and gloom of the previous decade and centuries of psychological slavery. Early cinema goers lapped up the Hollywood rags to riches stories and realise that they too could throw off the chains of the old world and chase their own dreams in the Californian sun. Paradoxically, the past is now revealing the future. No wonder there is a revival in vintage fashions and costume dramas to help us forget the doom and gloom, have our own times of austerity and un unsustainable excesses. This set includes two of Charlie Chaplin's greatest comedic rivals, Harold Lloyd and Buster Keaton. Here we have one of the first and greatest heartthrobs, the legendary Rudolph Valentino. Tom Mix, pictured on this card, was the original cowboy and helped define a whole genre, the Wild West, a strong metaphor for the American dream. Norma Shearer and Norma Talmadge were two of the most popular movie stars of the silent era, but Talmadge, sadly, has largely been forgotten. Although many silent movie stars didn't make the transition to the talkies, two European actresses featured in this great set bucks the trend. Despite having strong foreign accents, both Paula Negri and Greta Garbo mastered both the silence and golden eras or errors as it's um, pronounced in America, I believe. There's a full list of the stars in the description. Please let me know if you are related to any of them. The uh, same way that Fitzgerald's epic novel The Great Gatsby brings the exciting jazz age to life through his wonderful use of words, the unadulterated Pictures on these original 1920s trade cards provide us with a window to that glorious time that gave birth to our modern world. Early 20th century companies fiercely competed against each other in showing the most fashionable movie stars and trendsetters of that time, unwittingly providing us with one of the finest and richest pictorial records of the interests and desires of the people at the birth of our modern world. It's funny how in a lot of cases all that survives of these early movie pioneers aren't the original movie reels but ephemera and collectibles like these since most of the original movies have long since crumbled away due to them being stored on nitrocellulose which is a material which deteriorates very quickly. Cars like these might not be thousands of years old like uh, this particular Roman coin but they certainly reveal a lot more about their time. 
according to the scientists, us humans have been on the earth for hundreds of thousands of years, and yet it's taken caveman a heck of a long time to do anything actually noteworthy. In fact, 98% of um, human achievements were done in the last 2% of our existence on this planet. And the last century took us from riding around on horses to space travel in the blink of a geological eye. Thank you for uh, checking out my video of these early fashion icons and trendsetters that laid the foundations to our consumerist world and the age of the celebrity. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie tray cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to come along to my car museum at creamofcards.com. Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave comments up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track. By clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a Creamo Cards TV.